You may have heard about the resurgence of psychedelic research as potential treatments for mental health conditions. Our center at Johns Hopkins was among the first scientific groups to restart this research. It's too early to say for sure, but it looks like psychedelics have some therapeutic potential. However, there are cautions to keep in mind, and those are what this video is about. Psychedelics that occur in many plants and fungi have been used by certain indigenous communities for hundreds and perhaps thousands of years. Synthesized psychedelics were studied in the 1950s and the 1960s, but this research was stalled due to regulatory changes related to the war on drugs. Now, research centers like ours at Johns Hopkins and many others are launching new, more rigorous studies. This research has received a lot of press, some extremely negative and some extremely positive. We want to make sure to get the message out that this research is still ongoing. There is a lot that we still have to learn about the risks and benefits and quantifying more precisely how often they tend to occur. In clinical research settings, we screen people for certain pre-existing conditions, provide preparatory sessions before drug administration, provide clinical and medical oversight, and multiple follow-up sessions after the drug experience. While you may be hearing about new clinics, retreat centers, or other forms of recreational use, these places may or may not have these safeguards in place, especially in places without licensed clinicians or in places where psychedelics are illegal. Again, psychedelics taken under safe and supportive contexts in a research setting have shown promise in clinical trials, but there are some risks related to psychedelics even in these settings, and these risks are likely increased in contexts without these safety precautions or if taken alone. Minor risks or side effects, called adverse events, related to psychedelics include headache, nausea, dizziness, anxiety, and distortions in visual perception. More major adverse events related to psychedelics include confusion, suggestibility to negative influences from others, panic, paranoia, psychosis, dissociation, mania, increased heart rate and blood pressure, and other potentially serious conditions. It is also possible that these drugs may evoke lasting negative reactions, including mood fluctuations, feeling more fearful, or socially disconnected. These lasting negative reactions may be more likely to occur in those who have a personal or family history of psychosis or mania, and among those who are using psychedelics outside of a supported clinical setting. In general, we want to make sure that people are aware of these risks as psychedelics become more visible and widely discussed. Our intention here is to get the word out to remind people that, like most psychoactive substances, psychedelics have risks. But note that our intention is not to fall into the fear-mongering that has occurred for decades that exaggerated the dangers beyond the data. We also do not intend to encourage recreational use here. To learn more about our scientific work, go to https colon forward slash forward slash hopkinspsychedelic.org or social media at jhpsychedelics.